Hi there and welcome. This is Jennifer McGuire and I am filling in for Nicole. Nicole has been very sick lately and doesn't have a voice, so I offered to do her voiceover for her. So I am just going to kind of wing it and hope you enjoy. I do have two guests with me as we show you this gorgeous card from Nicole. And my first guest is... Christina Werner. I'm hijacking this video narration. Sorry. <laughs> and I have another one. Kathy Rakusen, and I like love this card. Yes. So we're going to talk you through some of it and also play some lovely music. And we might tell some stories about Nicole along the way. Okay, so Nicole here is starting with her Misty so that she can stamp a bunch of these images all at once. These are some adorable lawn fawn images. This is a set that's exclusive for Simon Says Stamp. So you can only get it there, and it's in a limited time supply. So she stamped it first in black. And did you see she dropped her ink pad? Did you like that? She did. That. And I do that all the time. That makes me happy. See, she's the best stamper and she still drops her ink pad. So that makes me feel better. So she stamped it a few times in black ink to make sure it was nice and crisp. So now it looks like she's coloring a layer of white. And this is going to make it so that when she's coloring other brighter colors on top that we get that brightness because she's using some Desert Storm cardstock so it has an overall very medium tone so by putting the white down first you're still going to get the brightness of the colors you know with you know even though it's got a medium toned cardstock and I've never tried this I've usually do the dark first well no I've done it but not for a highlight this I like this I'm gonna have to try this have you done this Kathy no I haven't I love it we're gonna have to try it yeah, I like this. It's smart because then you're not looking for that sweet spot, I call it, the highlighted area. You already have it there, so you're not, it makes your coloring easier. Yeah, and I'm not the best with colored pencils, but I have noticed that when I've been coloring with them, that the more color you put down, a little bit, it's a, more easy to blend. Like, there's just that little layer of a little bit of a waxiness, so you get a smoother blend even when you're not using... Um, like mineral spirits or things like that. I know a lot of people like to use that with colored pencils, but um, I don't because I don't have a good ventilated area to do that in, and it it's a pretty strong kind of. You've done it, Jennifer. It right? doesn't, and it doesn't work great on. I don't, I find it doesn't work great on a uh, colored cardstock. It looks works best gotcha. on white. So this is a great approach. Well, another using the white first. Because sometimes if you overcolor with a colored pencil, you get that wax and you can't mm -hmm. put any color on top. That's true. This way, she's guaranteed that gorgeous highlight right from the first thing. And I like here, she just put two little areas of white so that she had those bright spots, the highlighted spots on the socks. Right. I like that. She's pretty good. She knows what she's doing it's here, doesn't she? <laughs> it's oh, a stocking. What did I call it? Sock. A sock? Well, it's that might be what your socks sock. look like, but <laughs> not my socks. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to talk about Nicole. Okay, so Nicole, I met a bazillion years ago. I'm not going to say how long because then it would make us seem old. But we met in the scrapbooking world, and I adored her from the moment I met her. And we went to a CKU together right at the beginning. So we've known each other for years. And we kind of lost touch for a little bit in the middle. And then we just, card making brought us back together. And I'm so glad it did. Uh, she by far was was the best scrapbooker I had ever seen. So and I'm prolific. She yes. was so oh my goodness. So fast. This girl can crank out some crafting. Yeah. I don't so, know how you do it, Nicole. In, yeah. in such a beautiful way, too. And she needs to share a baby picture of each of her kids because she makes the most beautiful babies. Mm -hmm. I just have to throw it there. I remember I got an email when her son was born. And I, it like just took my breath away about how gorgeous he was. So, anyways. Well, and baby blankets too. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, and yeah. then she made Quilts the most amazing quilt for Lila when she was born. And it was a surprise, and she had no idea. But I was doing Lila's room in a pool, uh, white, like a coral color and a dark, like coral color. And she made a baby quilt those exact colors. She had no idea. She just. Destined. She's an angel that way. So, oh, oh, she's done coloring. So she colored these <laughs> and she die cut them with the coordinating dies. And she's got some frame dies there with that do, off of the little piercing. Those are also from Lawn Fawn. She's kind of planning everything out here. Looks like she only stamped a portion of the, the log that has the fire in it. And okay. so she filled in the top of the log with her black pen. Now that's not in the stamp set, in the Lawn Fawn stamp set, is it? No, I think it's in a different lawn fawn set. Gotcha. It's so, just the mice that are in the one. Yeah, that but we're her about. blog post will probably have that information. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, so the mice 
and the greening are and the little cheese wrap are from the Merry Christmas from Lawn Fawn and Simon Says Stamp. The others are just from a different Lawn Fawn stamp set. Gotcha. Okay, so she put even that little mouse hanging out. Look at him. He's so oh, cute. So she's kind of brilliant. planning out her card here. So nothing's gluing down there. It's just a plan. And now that she's got a plan, she can move it over to card, which is very smart to do. What's she doing here? It's like she's tracing. So she can do the background. Oh, oh that's right. Oh, oh. oh she's creating she's a box, box for inside. The fire box. Of course she is. Yes. Because that's what she does. Yeah. <laughs> that's what, because every card, it's not just like a little element on a card. It's this amazing scene where it's all well yes. thought out. So this Nicole is very good at scenes. This is what I need. I need. She to makes do. a scene. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's going to kill me. Okay, so she's drawing the little box here with some dark colored pencils and just doing some shading. So I'm sure she's not going to do any highlighting here because this is kind of a backdrop. Should we play some music or should we just keep talking? Do you want to talk about Nicole? Uh, well, I know Nicole from like our days back in, with Two Peas in a Bucket. She was mostly scrapbooking back then Yep. and so adorable. And she was also one of the, one of the other Gardner girls to first start out with video. So I, I think she may have emailed me back in the day and was like, how should I do this video? So that's kind of like where we started emailing back and forth a little bit. But then she came to a retreat. Oh, my gosh. Stop it. Stop, Stop it. it. Stop, Stop it. it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Nicole. But another thing about Nicole, she can dance like nobody. Yes, she And she, she does. sings beautifully. And she has the best Tinkerbell laugh of all. She's very giggly. I love her. We spent some time together at a crafting retreat and just we're like two peas in a pod. Speaking of two peas. Yeah. And okay, so Christina, so what people don't know is Christina has a voice that every once in a while comes oh, out. We're not going We're to not going to do the voice, <laughs> but it's this silly voice where she acts like she's somebody else. And Nicole can giggle when she's doing that, which makes Christina do it even more. Uh huh. And it's like feeds it and yeah. it's excellent most it, excellent so and it's also most embarrassing after the fact and I realize <laughs> I've done this so yeah. oh she's adding details uh, Kathy needs to discuss this because oh, well, this is her thing it looks like Nicole likes to darken the eyes so do I I personally like to always make them a little bit bigger but she's using a jelly roll pen to give them you know a little bit of sheen and to make them nice darker and, and the noses always hit those noses what a difference it makes especially because when you use colored pencils it does kind of like put a milky film over all of the black lines yes so she's just darkening it also it stands out got an i bet i is bet she money adding a mouth? is she adding a mouth she did add a mouth i think, I think on that one and here she comes with her little white dots these oh, are so, so cute. cute she just adds some on the little cheekies yeah and kathy does good with these white dots it's amazing the difference these little white uh, gel terrible. pen dots make on colored pencil because like Christi like Christina said, it kind of flattens it and gives a smooth finish. And so those white dots kind of add a little pop back into it. Oh my word, that mouse coming down the chimney. So I'm I think gonna die. I think that so what cute. makes a big difference on this card is those things that she did to add that depth to it. Otherwise it'd be such a flat scene. Yeah. So that little box inside of the um, fireplace makes such a huge difference. So now she's Going to heat emboss the Merry Christmas sentiment on the top there. She used anti-static powder tool so that she didn't have a mess on her beautiful background. She has some, I bet, probably Hero Arts white embossing powder there. Any kind of good bright white embossing powder works. Super and then fine. she yeah. probably is going to, yep, oh, of course, a cute little heart. Look at that. What How color? Oh, red embossed heart. Oh, and she's, she's been every stepping it up here. She is just she, showing us up here. I'm not. What? Nicole, <laughs> what? Stop it. You're voted off the island. You're making <laughs> us look bad. Okay, so now she's going to heat it up. She's going to let her heat gun get good and hot beforehand. Oh, wait. She's, she, went and, she went to get a brownie. Because sometimes yeah. when you're crafting, you got to get a brownie. Or, now she's know. back. Okay. okay. <laughs> so notice that she keeps her heat gun moving so that she doesn't warp her paper. Mm -hmm. And especially lets it get warmed up. She heats from behind, too. So in case there's any warping, that kind of straightens it out. it out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is so cute. I hope... Uh, Nicole, I'll send you my new address so that you yeah. can send me this card because it's oh, just Oh, she's adding polka dots. <gasps> oh. Or is it just little glistening no, dots? The, little glistens. Are those glistens? Yeah, the little it's that silver pen. Oh, that look at this. We used so long ago. I love it. Thanks for reminding look us at about that. that huh? Wow. Stop it. 
Stop it. We were going to play music, but instead. <laughs> yeah, no music. We're having too much fun Sorry. chatting. <laughs> no music needed. If only Nicole was here, but thanks for letting us, you know. <laughs> okay. Oh, my gosh. So now so she's cute. just gluing all the pieces down, and she knows exactly where to put them because she planned it out before. So there's no guessing game and having to waste any time kind of arranging where things go. She planned it out at the beginning. And I like how she put the fire out because I probably wouldn't have thought that farm would have put a flame Don't in there. Don't cook the mouse. You, know? you would have cooked your mouse. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay, what's she got here? She, oh, is she doing the oh a little banner? Oh, she's going to die cut a little banner in the. Hmm. She's got a piece of post-it tape to hold the die straight mm -hmm. as she runs through. She does have a metal adapter plate under there to make sure it cuts. Oh, oh it's the this inside. Is the inside. For, Let's rewind. Oh, for the gift no, 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 no. This is good. Just okay. keep going. Okay. Um, so hold card. the gift card, yeah. She had to put another layer in so she could die cut it through and there wouldn't be holes on the back Got of the card. it. So that's a little die that cuts two little okay. notches that will hold a gift card inside. So now we're putting the tape on the front. Oh, I like that black trim. That's nice. That really makes it pop. It does. So Gosh. glue that on front. And that should be in a frame. And now on the inside, and she's got, the she's gift got card. a little gift card. So there's a subway by my house. So you can yeah. send me this card, <laughs> and I promise to frame it because it's just frame worthy. So, it's so cute. Thank you for allowing Christina and Kathy and I to take over your video. Uh, Nicole is by far the biggest angel we know. We're so proud we of her. Love you, Nicole. So please check out the other videos that she has here, and she links all the products below in the description. Thanks for watching, love and you, you'll see Nicole again soon. Bye bye.